Uh, sword Guard White Cross is right there in the front row of the glasses, and then also in the blue T-shirt next to that. Or do you have one already? You have one up top. Okay, and then and one up top as well. Um, so, I'm sorry, did you have a mic? Or I couldn't see if you were already. Oh, no, you just have one. Okay, so down here, down here in the front row, then there's the blue, and then the one up top. Hey, I apologize if you talked about this particular point before you came in, but I'm super curious about um, with the rainstorm actually getting the band on the ship and kind of like all the rigmarole that went with that. The 12 a.m. deadline seems kind of bonkers balls. And like, that whole thing. <laughs> I don't want to get too into the story, but here's two bits of information. Well, three bits of information that came to me within a five minute span. <laughs> One was the band was totally out. For, well, we, we originally thought we were going to ask just the two Johns to do a real stripped down old school show. And then I went into the trailer and Jonathan had been talking to them. And suddenly it was, oh yeah, the whole band wants to come. We'll do it. It'll be like an in-store. That's great. Immediately following that, I found out we could not get any vehicles onto the pier to get, you know, say an Uber XL or something to get the band to the ship. Uh, because by law, they couldn't move a vehicle on the pier until all the people were gone. Then, I received a call about three minutes later that customs, because of rules, because several of the performers weren't sailing with us, they were just coming aboard as visitors, they were required by law to be off the ship at 1159 or we were going to face a hefty fine. Uh, and maybe ten minutes after that, Drew and, and various uh, volunteers showed up with an army of umbrellas to shepherd the band over because they were like, we'll just walk. It's just rain. And, yeah. and the reason we were able to get them on uh, at all is that we had put them on the guest list with the ship prior to the sailing in anticipation of them being able to use the ship as a place to sit and have lunch or whatever uh, for the people who were not sailing with us, the band members and crew members. We wanted them to be able to get onto the ship and, and uh, and, and place for life. So yeah. luckily they were already on the guest list. If they hadn't been, we wouldn't have been able to, to do this. Yeah, that was a good call when Paul was running around like, how are we going to get them on the ship? How are we going to get them on the ship? And we were able to say, they're already on the guest list. <laughs> that, that was a good moment. Yeah. Uh, 